There was once a lonely, misunderstood zombie named Earl. He lived in another world with his only friend, Chris the Zombie Dog. They'd had a great day in the meadow, eating brain cakes and drinking blood juice. They decided to play a game of fetch. Earl threw the bones so far that Chris ran out of view. After waiting several days, Earl went to look for Chris. He searched through the haunted wood, and after many hours, he found a letter placed under a small pebble. It read, My dear zombie friend, I am writing this letter to you from another world. When you threw the bone, it hit an enchanted lizard, and I was sucked into another world along with every other living creature except you. It's beautiful here. There are wide green pastures, oceans, and huge open skies. It is what I would call the perfect world, so I have named it Earth after you and my love of the story Thumbelina. This is the last time I will be able to contact you, so I just want to say that I'll always be thinking of you. I miss you. Your best friend, Chris. Earl now lives in an empty world, never speaking, always mourning. Me and Stacey were at this party, and it? She was giving it all dislike, so I said, let's have a dance off, and whoever loses gets off this planet and has to start their own hood man. This whole thing happened when I was going around cars and this whole thing happened right and Stacey who's a total idiot anyway has been completely going around saying that Destiny's done some money out of Rochelle's purse but I ain't never not seen some to Rochelle because she's spat in Makaya's hair. Yeah because what happened was this whole thing happened and I don't even know anything but Ashley Cameron's been going around saying that Samantha's brother smells of mud but I ain't so shab and never even stole no cars of shab. Right and this girl right she's got her own council flat and three kids and she's only nine and she said to me Shirley where's your baby and I said swapped it for a Westlife CD in it and she said Why'd you do that? And I said, I oh, know they're rubbish anyway. Don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. I'm just Shirley Phillips around the corner from the block. S to the P to the Hully to the Phillips. Oh my god, this is well hectic. So I won and everything, and Stacey had to get off my planet, and I was like, safe team's blood. So my planet was filled with happy chaps like me, and it. Engelbert was content in his loneliness. Not once had he wished for someone to share his scientific discoveries with. The only thing in his one-person world which worried him was the existence of a door which wouldn't open. Engelbert had tried many methods of opening the door, but eventually he gave in to the plain method of blowing it off. The explosion was carefully planned, and so Engelbert began his 245th attempt at discovering the answer to this one final question in his life. The explosion was not as powerful as Engelbert had anticipated, but it worked. He was thrown into darkness, then upon a painful landing without his glasses, he discovered through his obscured sight a bustling world. This was not what he had hoped for. Dreams of an infinite supply of lab equipment were shattered as nightmares of noisy company were realised. Engelbert felt helpless and overwhelmed by the mass which he had created. He lived the rest of his short life in the darkest, quietest corner of a bright, hectic planet. <laughs>